Need to set up ad extensions in Google Ads for your e-commerce store? I'm going to show you exactly how to set this up in this quick video. Let's go. Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com and today I'm going to show you how to set up ad extensions in your Google search ads for your e-commerce store. Okay, what are ad extensions? Ad extensions are the extra bits of information that you can add to your ads to make them bigger, longer, and more relevant to your searches. The cool thing is you can add way more text to your ads and make them take up way more space in the search results. If your competitor comes in, then you'll be able to show for so much more of the screen while they have a tiny little ad down the bottom. The cool thing is that these extensions are really easy to add. I've made a really awesome template that you can use to plan out your ad extensions and add them to your account. We use it for all our clients and stores and I'll leave a link in the description so you can access it and use it for yourself. It will be on the blog post there for this video and just so you know, you probably have to enter your email to get it. The reason I do that is because I only want the people that are very serious about running their Google ads for e-commerce to get this template. Let me just jump into my computer. I'm going to show you the template and let's run it for this ad account. Let's go. Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. Now we're in this template for your Google search ad extensions. Now you can get this same template on my website. Link is in the description. You're going to go there. It's probably going to ask you for your email. I just put that on there just because I only want the people that are serious about their Google ads to actually use this. Okay, so I've made this, we use this for all our clients. This is a new uh, campaign that we're actually onboarding. Um, and so this tells you, helps you basically create your ad extensions really easily and even has like tells you how many characters remaining you have in the different fields. It's absolutely fantastic. So let me go through each of these now and then we're going to add them into the account together. So go get this template. It's in the link in the description right there. Once you get this template, get it up and we're gonna go through it for your own site store at the same time. Uh, it's gonna require you to have a bit of knowledge about your store, of course, and your target audience, as well as your products. But even just getting something up here, um, that's great. You know, getting this um, onto the template and then over into Google's, Google Ads is gonna be really good for your search campaigns. So the first thing we have here is the site, are the site link extensions. And so what these are, these are basically little, uh, blocks of text underneath your search ads that help get people to the right page on your website, especially if they might be looking for your shipping information, maybe a sizing chart, or maybe the about page, contact page, or a collections page. Well, you can put these in and Google is going to show them based on what they think people are looking for and they're going to use their data and stuff like that. What we want to do here is basically break down our website and go like, what? where do people want to go generally? Like how do we segment the market like this and then make little text bits and like have the link so they can go to exactly where that is. So um, for this this store here, we thought, okay, there's people that are into paddling. These guys sell life preservers and, and um, they call PFTs for like really high ticket, like Olympians, like uh, for the Olympics and sports athletes. It's really, really epic. Um, and so we thought, okay, well, they're really segmented between paddling and sailing. They're the two big ones that people buy for. So we put these into their own site link extensions and it's just really simple. Like people are searching for paddling or sailing uh, PFDs. And so we put, okay, our paddling range, check out our Vicobi paddling gear today. It's really, really, you know, we're not putting two, like we, you could, you could spend a lot of time here on the copy. Our goal here is let's get these people to where they need to go. Like they're already searching for um, this sort of product. Let's just get them to the right place. And then we'll actually just put in the final URL. So your headline should just be that page, maybe the title of that page, you know, we're not going to use the title here because it's by Kobe Paddle, but our paddling range really tells a lot about what that site, like that page actually is about. And then the description is going to be underneath that. Um, check out our range. You only have 20, I think it's 30, uh, how many characters? 35 characters for the description, 25 for the head. And you can type here and it allows you to see as you type how many um, are remaining. Let me have some tea. That's good, wets my whistle a little bit. Okay, so we put there for the different collections that we're really targeting there, but other pages you can use, like you can use for this are like the About Us is a perfect example. So this might be down here, I'm guessing in, yep, down there. That's where people will generally go. Um, and so that's how they would find it. Maybe people are searching for About Them. It's, you know, that that happens. And so you can put that in there. Like even something to keep in mind is that firstly, yes, you want to direct people to the right place. But secondly, these extensions, like I said, also take up a lot of great space on the search results. And so 
it's great to have something in here, even if you might think, oh, who actually goes to the about page? Well, a lot of people will, but even if they don't and they click just the main uh, ad that's shown, that's gonna take up more space, which is gonna take up more space that competitors aren't taking up. It's gonna make your ad look better. It's gonna improve the CTR, the click-through rate for that ad. So even if no one clicks on it necessarily, it still has a purpose. Okay, another one here is shipping and delivery. That's a great one that people are looking for. And so you can put that on, on there as well. We just keep it pretty simple with the description. Just find out, out our shipping delivery guidelines here. You can do stuff like the sizing and pricing, pricing chart, other collections pages. Contact page is a good one that you can put in here. So if you have a dedicated contact page, maybe there's support. Um, that sort of thing is great for the site linking site link extensions. They take up a lot of space. So put some time there and build these out. You know, we put six here. They show, I think it's up to four at a time, sometimes two, sometimes one. Uh, Google really plays around and tests that, but I recommend putting in as much as you can here that is relevant for your business. So the next one here is the call out extension. So the, each one of these is like their own extension type that we can add for e-commerce and that we add for our stores. Call out extensions, you know, these are little, like you could think of those like little benefits, features of maybe, uh, but basically little things that are just shown on the ad that's that like really say, hey, yeah, we have this, this is what we do. So free shipping over a hundred dollars, um, you know, we've done that because a, a unique way to put that in there, but you can type it in and you've got 25 characters to use there. So built to keep you warm, made for optimal comfort, comfort controls your body temperature, designed for insulation, tested by ocean athletes. And that applies to all the products on this store. You can run, like you, you can segment the campaigns based on the product type or what have you, and then only have call out extensions for that campaign, that product type. That's one way you can do that here to make sure it's relevant towards what you're selling. Maybe you sell different products and um, you're worried about certain products having uh, call out extensions that should be for other products. Well, you can also jump in and do this on the ad group level. So that's something else that I'm not going into here because that's getting deeper and deeper and more complicated strategy, but that's something that you can definitely do guys. Um, but yeah, call out extensions, you can just use what's on your product page, your website, and after doing your research and talking to your customers, talking to your target market, especially, I have a lot of videos on that, on uh, talking to your customers and talking to your target market, calling them up, going to meet them in person, using um, Facebook groups and forums and really figuring out what are they looking for? So that's why we have this one here built to keep you warm because yet, you know, you want to, you know, have a life preserver so that if you fall off, you don't die. But as well, like, it's really nice if they're warm. Like if you're if you're paddling in the cold, you know, optimal comfort, they wanna be comfortable, they wanna be free, they wanna be able to move freely when they use these preservers. That's what we're thinking about here and putting that in the ad, okay? So this is, a lot, this is all ad copy and really understanding like marketing on a, on a deeper level. But call it extensions, little benefits, you've got 25 characters, add them in there. Um, even if you add them in there first uh, and see how they perform, you know, that's, that's a really good way to start. Structured snippets, these are basically, um, we use these as like categories of products. So, you know, same thing, you have 25 characters here, but you can put these in here as like basically different types of the products that you have. So paddling, long sleeve tops, they have different clothing as well. Paddle shorts, sailing PFDs, you know, that's what you do there. It's, it's People get these two confused. These are benefits and these are kind of like product types, product categories in a sense. Okay, the next one here is pricing extensions. This one here is amazing for e-commerce and these these here, these three uh, rows here are the settings that you actually put in your campaign, in your ad extension, set up for pricing extensions. And I'll go through this in a moment, but you want to set the English, the type, and generally be product categories and the currency. So this, this one here is in Australian dollars. They sell overseas all around the world, but we're starting this campaign in AUD, Australian dollars, dollar dues. Um, so here we've got it here that you've got the, um, the different, the diff like, you know, I didn't explain this before, but this hash here, um, has the, the number of the different, this shows that there are set six, sorry, I'm gonna explain as well, six different uh, call out extensions. There's nine here, you know, I've got one, two, three, four, five, there's four out of six there. Same thing over here, one, two, three, four out of five. Um, and we've chosen type as product categories. And then you go through, it's kind of similar to structured snippets, um, go through and put the, the, the different categories of the products here. Now you put the price in here in the description, that's really great. The main thing here that I want you to, to do is just get these up. If you're not sure, get something up and try it out, see if you can get it uh, approved because yes, you wanna really refine and do an amazing job at your pricing extensions, but the main thing here is you get these on your ads and then suddenly you take up more space and that's gonna increase your CTR. Especially if this is your first time setting up pricing extensions or any of these extensions, 
my goal is to just jump, like my idea, my, my, my recommendation, jump in, try something um, and, and see if it gets approved and see if it works and then go from there and keep improving. So those are the pricing extensions you put in the header, the price and the description, as well as the URL that people go to there. You know, we've got the different characters remaining that you can put for your header and description. Um, but yeah, I recommend, you know, using those product categories that are siloed in your actual store there um, and build those out. Okay, guys, now let's jump into the Google Ads account and let's add these in. Let's go. Okay, guys, let's now add these extensions into our Google Ads account. So I have the, exten uh, the extensions sheet that I showed you before here on the left-hand side, and I've got a Google Ads account over here. This is just a dummy Google Ads account, but you're gonna add this into your own Google Ads account after doing the exercise of adding in the ad extensions here. Like I said, this template's on my website, go check it out. Once you filled it all in, like I showed you in the video, let's add them in. So I'm gonna go into my search campaign over here. I'm gonna go over to ads and extensions and go down to extensions. So you may not see this page, go, scroll down to the bottom. It may say like, add your uh, site link extension. You can click that button because that's what we're going to do, what we're going to do anyway. But if you do see this page, you can go add site link, site link extension. Um, and here, let's walk through the process. So we're going to add that to our campaign. You can also choose adding it to your ad group, like I told you about before. We're going to add it to our campaign. You can also do account, but I prefer campaign just because that's how I often segment out different product campaigns and stuff like that. And anyway, we're going to create new and basically what you can do here is basically is just copy over the different stuff you've done all the hard work already we're just now copying over the descriptions the funnel url and the the actual text the headline and it'll show you here what it's actually going to look like so once that's we'll start adding them in but basically then we put in uh the next one here see now it's adding it in nicely it's not showing the description yet but it will in a moment and then add in the final url awesome Looks great, looks great, let's keep going. So scroll down here and we can see that, you know, it's only showing that you can add four, but if you click this button down here, you can add more than four. So if you've done more than four, totally fine. You can click that button and add more in there. Okay, I'm just putting this in, Command C, Command V, fantastic. So now we've added four and it's actually showing the full description in there as well. It's not gonna do that on mobile, but it will do that on desktop. And you'll see that we've just almost tripled the actual space that we're taking up with our ad. I've just put in some dummy text here just to have, make sure that we have an ad, but look at how much space this is taking up now. Like if your competitors aren't doing this, you're just gonna dominate those search results and get a much better click-through rate CTR with your campaigns. Okay, cool. Let's move to the next one here. So same process, call that extension. We've done the hard work already with this template. That's the beauty of this beautiful template. And we're just gonna paste it in guys, super easy. And like I said before, you just click that button to add more. If you wanna add more than just four, pasting that in, beautiful. And see how they fit nicely within the character count of 25 because we've already got this over here nicely. And this is now showing us over here for mobile, this is what they actually look like, the call ad extension. So they're underneath the ad, they're like little bonuses, little benefits and on, um, you know, on desktop, it looks like that, but it takes up, look how much space that takes up on mobile. This is just gonna make your ad look bigger, get a better CTR, as well as show people more about your e-com store. Anyway, cool, so just click save. I didn't go through this before, but let me go through it right now. So advanced options. So that's if you wanna have a preference just for uh, mobile, especially, so show your device, uh, your stations for mobile uh, in particular. So give it preference, uh, but we don't worry about that. It's totally fine without that. It's gonna show up for both regardless. If you wanna schedule the extension, so this is getting more advanced, but say you have an extension, you only wanna show between certain times or certain dates, you can do that here and add a schedule and that sort of thing. Anyway, so let's click, we're not gonna do that. We don't need that, click save. So we've added in our call-out extensions. Awesome. Let's move on to structured snippets. Very similar process, just like we did before. But with this, we're going to select um, we can select language. So it's in English. Um, and then you can actually select the type of extension here. So we didn't talk about this before, but you, if you're doing, you know, this is for all, all types of different um, products or services that you're selling, but you can also do brands, which is an amazing one that you can use here. I didn't talk about this before, but say if you're selling multiple brands, this is just one brand, so we don't have it for this one. But say if you have multiple brands on your store, you can put this in here and you can really target those people that are searching for a specific brand, which is amazing. We're gonna do types. That's great, that'll work. Um, so let's put that in here like this. Awesome, let's add more. There's also styles in there, I didn't talk about that, but that's another one that you can add into. I recommend adding as many as possible just because you know Google's gonna tell you if they like it or not. They're gonna say, yep, that's approved. Um, and that basically, 
Like the more that you can get approved and the bigger that your ad can be, the better your CTR is going to be. Yes, you do want it to be targeted and, and good quality, but as well, you know, if you can get them in there, like see like there it has types. We've just made this ad even bigger. Look at that. That's awesome. Oops. I shouldn't have clicked that. <laughs> clicked the wrong one. I'm trying to click this one. There we go. Cool. So now look, we're just making this ad bigger and bigger and bigger. So now I've added instruction snippets. The last one, you can see them all here. I didn't talk about this yet, but basically you're going to be able to come back here in a week or so and see the actual data on how each one has performed. And stuff like the CTR is going to be really useful. You can pull out the actual conversion data as well by going to these custom columns here, see the conversion value. Um, but even just initially, you know, let's just get these in the account so that they start creating more space for our um, our campaigns. So the next one is pricing extension. I'm not gonna go into um, you know, these ones here, location. Often e-com stores don't have that. If you also have a physical location, you can add that in. That connects in with your Google My Business account. That's a little process in itself, but if it's verified and connected to Google Ads, that shouldn't be too hard. Another one is promotion extensions. I'll make another video on these, but that's basically extensions like sales and stuff that you can run on your ads that can really get a lot of clicks really quickly. It's fantastic. That's a whole video in itself. Anyway, let's add the pricing extensions in uh, because you know the, the promotion extension, that's something you do once. So it's not something that you're gonna set up here and then run forever. It's, you know, it's, it's a one-time thing generally that you do it. Black Friday sales, Christmas sales, stuff like that. Anyway, pricing extensions. So here, like I said, I put these in here so you can choose these settings in here. So English, um, type, product categories. Where is it? There it is, awesome. Currency, we're gonna do AUD, dollary dues, as we like to say. Price qualified, don't need that. Um, okay, let's go in and add these in. So it's all in ready for you to do. The price is right there. Um, and the description is right there, final URL. Brilliant. If you want to send people to a different page for mobile, you can do that there as well. And let's keep building these out. Sailing tops, brilliant pricing. Copy and paste, copy and paste. Let's get this in there. Awesome, guys. Paddling tops. The reason I'm going pretty fast is because I'm really conscious that I'm making some long videos and I want to make this information really concise for you guys. If you like the long videos, please let me know in the comments because I'll spend the time and teaching you guys and really spending that time. But a lot of people want to learn this stuff and then get back to building their store. Okay, we can't, the pricing is not ceiling bottoms. It is going to be 19, uh, 119. Okay, cool. That's done for those um, advanced options. They're going to be very similar to the other ones as well. Don't worry about that. Let's save and get those in the account. Okay, so now all these are now under review. So that's all there. We're going to wait for Google to review those. It takes it maybe a day, a couple of days, uh, depending on you know their process as well. Once they're reviewed uh, and they're approved, they're going to start showing in your account um, on your search ads. And you know if it's not approved, Google's going to give you an, a reason why. If not, you can call them up. There's some numbers that you can call. I'll leave a link in the description to those numbers as well. Um, you can call them out and figure out why isn't it approved and then get it approved. Um, just keep trying, guys. This is one of those things where you're kind of like just butting your head against the wall sometimes and really like like with your product feeds, um, if you're doing shopping ads too, you're really just trying to find out what works, getting it live um, because the more search extensions you have in your ads, the more space it's going to take up and the more better it's going to be. Okay guys, so that's how you set up ad extensions in Google ads for your e-commerce store. Like I said, check the description for a link to the blog post where you can get the template to set up everything just like I've shown you in this video. If you have any questions at all, leave a comment in the description and hit the like button if you found this video useful. And guys, I make a lot of videos just like this one on how to grow your e-commerce store, heaps of tutorials about Google ads, as well as every other part of growing an e-commerce store. I recommend you check out my channel and playlists and consider subscribing if you wanna learn more and grow alongside me. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.